Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Ocheme, the content creator of Wellness Hub channel. Um, I want to thank all of you for subscribing to this channel. I want to thank all of you for what you've done. And if not, and if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel so you can receive updates from time to time consigning the fullest generator consigning the free energy systems i'm right here in lagos and um, i'm doing this video right here in lagos just came to lagos for the project's sake so there have been no time for me to organize some videos but i've taken my time to come out with this for you here though my equipment are not here um i'm somewhere far but let's go deep now um today i came up with a very interesting topic for you guys it is consigning um, one of the videos which i posted earlier about um, modification of the alternator that is to say putting new dimion magnet now many people have been confused with that video which i did and they have been calling me telling me that um is it is this what make the fuller generator work how can i modify how can i do this so please i want you to please stay so that i can explain the reason why new demon magnet is needed and the reason why you don't need it and the reason why you need it might not really be the reason because so many people think that before your generator can produce light you need to put new, new demon magnet inside no you don't need to put a new dimion magnet on your alternator before it begins to produce light. So this video covers everything about the new dimion magnet. So please get the full video because many people have watched this particular video which you are seeing right here. And also this particular video which is right here on the screen right now. They have been confused by those videos. So now let's go deep into the explanation of the video now for example um, the video which I posted was uh, demonstrating that when you put a new demon magnet in the alternator the only reason or the only thing which is going to do there is to reduce the RPM it is to reduce the RPM of the alternator for example if your alternator is rated for 1500 RPM if your alternator is rated for 1500 rpm if you insert a new demon magnet the north pole and the south pole of the alternator the rpm which you you're going to need in order for you to operate that machine will be around 700 rpm to 500 rpm now you must not be confused here because once you reduce the rpm to 500 you are also increasing the mechanical torque because when there is a magnet there will be a force a counter force from the magnet and the stator <clears throat> so please if you didn't pay if you didn't pay for the speed you are going to pay for the amount of torque it is going to pull so there is no difference there is no difference whether you reduce it or you increase it if you reduce it if you reduce the rpm and you think that you are reducing the power or you are reducing the consumption you are not reducing the consumption because you will definitely pay for the consumption in the other way around because the um, alternator will be very hard to spin a little bit so you have to pay for that amount of torque so my viewers that is the reason why new demon magnet is needed so please don't be confused that when you put new demon magnet that is when your generator will work or that is when uh, your alternator will begin to produce light i've made my videos very simple and i've i made it clear that with just a rotation on the alternator because the basic principle of a normal standard generator is that a generator carries two parts the mechanical part and the electrical part the mechanical part is meant to spin the electrical parts to produce light and that is all there's nothing other than that in a standard generator so you don't need a new demon magnet you don't need a new demon magnet and i repeat again you don't need a new demon magnet for you to get electricity out from your alternators 
from your from any alternator any alternator at all the only basis where you are putting magnet is just to reduce rpm so if your purpose is to reduce rpm fine you can use the gimel magnet as long as you know how to set it calculate the north pole and the south pole you will be able to um, reduce rpm but mind you reducing rpm does not um, guarantee um, re does not guarantee reduction of um, how I put it now does not guarantee reduction of operation or let me say reduction of the amount of current is going to use to spin no because you will definitely pay for the amount of torque because the the alternator will be very hard to spin so as it's hard to spin it has to spin for 700 rpm for it to produce your normal light so my viewers um i've also told you one of the secrets to it and if you check down my videos below i've given so many explanations to this in our next video we are going to talk about the chargeback system so please subscribe to this video press the bell notification like the video so you can see more of my videos in my next video i'm going to talk about the charging back system um in one of my video which i did this particular video which i did this one particularly i'm going to talk about it and why some things are the way they are when it comes to the chargeback system so please do subscribe to this video press the bell notification do subscribe press the bell notification put a thumbs up give a like and please down below give me your comment on what you take thank you very much thank you my subscribers see you in my next video Thank you.